what you'll need for this is some tongs, a glass of water, a candle, matches, and an egg. Then you're going to take your egg and hold it with the tongs and hold it close to the flame to get some soot on the outside of your egg. And you want to do this around the whole egg and once your entire egg is covered with soot and is black, you can drop it in the water. And you have a silver egg. This happens because the soot that covers the egg is really carbon and carbon repels water creating a thin layer of air between which makes it look silver. What you'll need for this is three cups, some water, salt, and eggs of course. And you fill you want to fill your cups up with salt water all the way filled to the top, and then just regular tap water all the way to the top and then one half filled with salt water. And you'll see that our egg floats. And then we put it in regular water and it sinks. And then for the last one, it will float on top of the salt water just like the first egg. But then we added a little bit of regular just tap water to it so it can float in the center and you'll notice I did switch the eggs to the brown ones and I did that only to help you guys see it better and there you have it this one is a lot of fun what you'll need is a glass vase or jar something that the egg won't fit into matches newspaper and of course a hard-boiled egg for this one and then all you're going to do, you can see that our egg won't, kind of won't fit in there. I can try to push it in, but it won't go in. I'm going to light the um, newspaper on fire. And kids, only do this with your parents' supervision or have your parents do it. And then you can see it almost went through. And then there you go. So when the fire goes out, the air inside of the bottle cools, and as it cools, the air contracts and the pressure of the air inside of the bottle becomes less than the pressure outside of the bottle. So then the pressure pushes the egg into the bottle. What you need for this is vinegar, a raw egg, and a cup. Then you just put the egg in the cup carefully and fill it with vinegar to cover the egg completely. And then you let it sit for 24 hours. And after the 24 hours has passed, you can take your egg out and you'll notice the shell will just kind of rub off. And what I did was I just went and ran it under some water. And there you have a bouncy egg. For this is a hard boiled egg and a raw egg. And you can spot the difference by spinning them. This is an example of Newton's third law of motion. You know, the one that says for every action there's an equal and opposite reaction. Well, when you spin the raw egg, the shell applies force on the liquid back inside, and then the liquid inside apl applies the same amount of force back to the shell, nudging it back into motion. What you'll need for this is two of the bouncy eggs, or some people call them naked eggs. They're the eggs that you soaked in vinegar to remove the shell. And then you need water and corn syrup. And then you just stick your egg into a cup and then fill that cup with corn syrup. And then take your next bouncy egg and put it in the cup and fill that cup with water and you can actually color the water too if you want to see how that looks I just chose to leave it plain and then 24 hours later 
you will see one egg has grown and one has shrunk. And I put just a raw egg in the middle um, so you can see kind of how the one in water got much bigger and then the one in corn syrup got a lot smaller. So the sugar molecules are too large to pass through the membrane of the egg, but the water molecules from the egg can pass through the membrane into the corn syrup. So the water movement from the egg to the corn syrup results in a shrunken egg. The other egg grew for the same reason. The increase of water resulted in the expansion of the egg. So what you need is 70 or 90% rubbing alcohol. We use 70, 90 would definitely work better. A bowl and an egg. And then you just pour your rubbing alcohol into your bowl and crack your egg inside of the rubbing alcohol and watch it cook. Alcohol is causing a chemical reaction that change the protein molecules. The longer you leave it in, the more cooked your egg will become. I do not recommend eating this. This is just for science. We left ours in for about 15 to 20 minutes. So what you need for this is an egg, some boiling water, and salt. And then you want to take your egg and crack just the top off with a spoon. And you want to try to be careful. And then dump the inside of the egg out. And you're almost ready to make your geode. Be really careful, do it over the bowl. Okay, <laughs> I did it! Yeah. And then you want to rinse your egg and pull out the membrane of the egg. And then take um, some boiling water and pour some salt in it. We used Epsom salt, but you could also use table salt, just the same. You want to make a super saturated solution. We added food coloring to ours. And then pour it in your egg and let it sit for 24 to 72 hours. And it'll look like that. We let ours sit for two days. Okay, so what you're going to want is some scotch tape, a raw egg, and some pantyhose. Then you just want to tape the outside of your egg so that it's covered completely. And then you will wrap your egg inside of your pantyhose in the middle and tie two knots on either end of the egg. And you want to spin it around for a few minutes. And then you want to boil it with the tape still on. And then when you cut into it, it will be all yellow. I have read that you can do an inside out egg where the yellow is in the center using the same method. We were not able to. The closest we came was it was hollow in the center for one of our eggs. All you need for this is some eggs and some bare feet, and it's a lot of fun. Oh, good job! It's pretty self-explanatory. You just walk across the eggs, and sometimes it works, and sometimes it doesn't. I know. If you enjoyed these science experiments, let me know. I would love to connect with you. You can find me at Raising Da Vinci on social media, and you can find more science fun at RaisingDaVinci.net.